It's not just Dr. Doolittle and that girl from the Wild Thornberries, whose name we can't be bothered to research, who can talk to animals, maybe all of us can. How you ask? Mishka, I, I love, love you. you. I love you. I love you. Because maybe the animals can talk to us, and all we have to do is listen, here is some evidence that might just convince you. These are animals who can talk. Number 15. Coco the Gorilla Every self-respecting animal lover knows about Coco the Gorilla. Despite being such a huge animal, she was one of the most tender, kind-hearted beings you could ever hope to find. And perhaps most famously, she was able to speak in sign language. Oh, he's talking. At her peak, Coco had a vocabulary of a three-year-old child, which is actually pretty impressive for a gorilla. She was able to sign about objects not in the room, use her words to recall memories, and even make comments about language itself. That's a lot of knowledge, you have to admit. Coco is probably best known for her visits with beloved icons like Mr. Rogers, Betty White, and perhaps the best-known visit, Robin Williams. All of these people were able to communicate with Coco as if she were a human, making it one of the most exciting meetings of their lives. Coco was not the only ape to know sign language, but she's definitely the most famous. Considering that gorillas have their own kind of language, I guess we could say that Coco was bilingual, which still makes her more intelligent than me. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Koshik the Elephant in many ways, it's both easier and harder for elephants to actually speak. Obviously, they have their trunk, which allows them to amplify their voice, but they also have their trunk, which, well, it's not really able to make all the mouth movements. None of this has stopped Koshik, an Asian elephant that can imitate human speech with his trunk. Oh, and also, he speaks Korean. Yeah. Did I forget to mention that? In 1993, Koshik was moved to South Korea's Everland Zoo, where he began to show an interest in learning spoken commands. Ten years later, his trainers noticed that he was imitating their speech with his trunk, echoing their commands with surprising accuracy. It would absolutely not surprise me if Koshik found himself hired to play in the cast of South Korean Saturday Night Live. While nobody truly knows why, Koshik began doing this, his trainer believes it was the result of loneliness. For many years, his only social interaction was with humans. And what better way to bond with humans than to parrot what they say? Hey, it works for me. Number 13. Cockatoos if any animal is going to talk, it's probably going to be a bird, and since it has the incredible ability to mimic almost any sound it hears, the cockatoo is definitely on the list. While teaching a bird to talk is a long process and requires some patience, it can be hugely rewarding. Assuming that you don't, uh, get annoyed, you don't have to look too far on the internet to find videos of cockatoos talking, and to see them in the process of talking is both fantastic and also wholly bizarre. In many ways, cockatoos are the most human of all the birds, capable of mimicking speech while also acting like excited or petulant three-year-olds. Some of these birds bark like dogs, argue with their owners, or in one case, just have an extremely fun time mimicking their owner's laughter. While other birds can mimic human voices, few do it quite as well as the cockatoo. This bird has a natural way of recreating the way we do. Well, everything. Speech, laughter, you name it, this bird can do it. Number 12. Einstein the Parrot Parrots are probably the most famous animal that can talk, and I think we all know why. Every intimidating pirate needs a wisecracking parrot on his shoulder, right? So therefore, all modern parrots are descendants of the pirate parrot sidekicks of the olden days. Need I say more? Well, yes, that's my job. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to Einstein the Parrot, one of the world's most famous talking birds. Talking to Garvey. 
talking to Garby. This parrot mimics just about any animal you can throw at it, but it's also incredibly gifted at sound effects and speech. Look how many times Einstein can respond to its owner using human words like, yeah, beer, what's the matter? I mean, this bird has a more extensive vocabulary than some Hollywood actors. That's pretty impressive in itself. Die Hard with Einstein would be an amazing movie, right? The parrot is known worldwide for its ability to speak and mimic the noises that it hears. Einstein takes that up to a new level, implementing additional human sounds between his little bits of speech. What I'm saying is, Einstein was probably the reincarnated version of Albert Einstein, and he wanted to be Michael Winslow from Police Academy. Then again, so do I. Number 11. Dogs when we communicate with our dogs, we are usually communicating with nonverbal signals. They might gently nose their food bowl for food, drop their leash in front of you for a walk, or just go and bite a neighbor's child for attention. But some dogs are more direct. They talk. Not in a Marmaduke kind of way, but, you know, not a million miles away. Take a look at this video of a husky. If you haven't seen this before, you're in for a treat. The owners begin the video by telling this beautiful dog, Mishka, how much they love her, with no real reaction. Then comes the big surprise. Yes, that's a dog trying her best to say I love you back to her owners, and honestly, she does a pretty great job of it. Mishka, I, I love, love you. you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And then, to make things even better, she starts singing. How cute is she? Mishka was a genuinely gifted animal, with her owners posting additional videos of their dog speaking. Of course, all dogs can talk, we just don't understand their language. But who cares when they're this cute? Number 10. Cats you knew it would be on this list. The 2019 Megabomb Cats proved once and for all that cats actually can speak. They also look alarmingly like Jason Derulo, have disappearing fur, and wear wedding rings, but that's old news. Anyway, different cats. While every animal has its own unique language, cats have an extraordinary way of communicating with humans, meowing. Contrary to popular belief, cats don't meow toward other cats. They also don't jump on the counter and do overtly sexual hip thrusts like the movie, but we're all pretty thankful for that. In actuality, a cat's meow is a unique way of communicating between kitty and owner, which means it doesn't actually make sense to any other cat. Isn't that crazy? This is how cat owners instinctively know when their kitty is hungry or bored, as each cat has its own unique way of expressing its feelings. And not all of them involve dragging in dead birds. Although most of them do, while their species will forever be haunted by the specter of James Corden in fur, cats are a fascinating and intelligent species. Who would have thought that these animals make up their own languages daily? Number 9. Orcas Picture it, you're an innocent bystander during the killer whale show at SeaWorld, when all of a sudden, the whale opens its mouth and says, Try the tofu. It's terrific. None of that happened in what we're about to show you, but admit it, it was a cool story. In Antibes, France, there exists a whale that actually can say words. Wiki is apparently the world's first talking killer whale, having been recorded saying words like hello, bye-bye, and even the name of her trainer, Amy. Now that's a pretty impressive vocabulary, right? Wiki can also count up to three, which is a skill many humans have yet to master. In case you're unconvinced or dubious, the recordings were passed along to six judges, who confirmed that the whale's words did indeed match their human equivalent. The findings were based on a series of voice imitation trials. And you know, who better to decide than six unnamed judges? There's really no point in trying to figure out why a whale in France speaks English, but regardless of that minor detail, it's pretty cool to see. This whale is just a super fast learner, apparently. I bet it could learn all the lyrics to Hamilton in record time. Number 8. Ravens 
Many people only know ravens from that creepy as hell Edgar Allan Poe story. But there are so many more interesting things about these sinister looking things. Like, for instance, the fact that they're really good at speaking. Can you say hi? Hi! Good job! I mean, really good at speaking. As in, better than other birds good. Of course, this depends on the conditions in which the birds are raised. Ravens in captivity have consistently shown that they can learn to speak even better than parrots can. And it's not just English or spoken languages that they're especially good at. These birds can also mimic other noises like car engines, animal noises, or even flushing toilets. Because when don't you want to hear a raven making a flush sound? Right, now you know all about the raven's talents, but how exactly does it use them? The raven has been known to imitate predators like wolves or foxes to lure them to carcasses that the bird itself could never break open. Pretty smart. Ravens are probably not high on your mental list of animals that talk, but they absolutely should be. These animals are a lot more than just freaky looking big crows. I mean, they are that, but there's more to them also. Number 7. Dolphins. No surprise on this one, right? There have been so many studies about the communication behaviors between dolphins that it's probably more notable when they're not talking. But let's delve into the world of dolphins a little more. Talk to us, Flipper! This video shows a woman attempting to teach a dolphin the basics of human communication. Just another day at the office, right? This woman is Margaret Howe, a researcher who was tasked with helping a dolphin named Peter learn to listen and respond. While it sounds extremely difficult, bordering on impossible, the dolphin did make some progress. Peter learned to listen to Margaret's words and started responding in kind, albeit not necessarily in fluent English. One, two, three. Peter's effort at counting to three is a pretty good one, even if it's far from perfect. Someday I hope to be half as good at counting. Dolphins are some of the most intelligent animals you could ever find in the wild, but English is not a language they're fluent in. Thankfully, the dolphin community has mastered a language all of their own. So who needs English anyway? English is for dum-dums like us, not genius dolphins. Number 6. Hoover the Seal how many people can you name that found a seal pup, brought him home, kept him in the tub, and discovered he could talk? Nobody? Ah, you surprise me. Well, luckily, we have an excellent example for you. Meet Hoover the Talking Seal. In May 1971, this tiny seal pup, newly orphaned after his mother's tragic death, was brought home by George Swallow. After a short period of difficulty feeding the seal, Swallow named him Hoover, after the enthusiastic way he sucked up ground fish. Soon, the seal was basically living like a family dog, and his new adoptive family spoke to him always. You know what comes next. Out of nowhere, Hoover began mimicking the thick accent and catchphrases of his foster family. A pretty great trick for any family pet, that's for sure. Eventually, Hoover grew too big for his home and had to be moved to a professional aquarium. But funnily enough, the employees didn't believe that the seal could speak until about five years later. Out of seemingly nowhere, he became comfortable with his new environment. He again began mimicking the thick New England accent he heard. Classic Hoover. Number 5. Mongoose. Can mongoose speak? For a long time, that question was as controversial as, did we really land on the moon? Back in the 1930s, a family on the Isle of Man claimed that a mongoose named Jeff, who lived in their farmhouse, could talk. Investigations at the time brought into the claims until it was concluded that the whole thing was a very elaborate hoax. Disappointing. However, modern studies have proved that mongoose can actually speak or at least communicate in a way that is reminiscent of human speech. A researcher tracking down mongoose in western Uganda found that banded mongoose have a most unusual habit. By combining vowel-type sound segments, the animal formed speech clusters that were long believed to be exclusive and unique to human speech. It turns out that we're not half as unique as we like to think. Although I could have told you that. 
while mongoose in the 1930s required extensive ventriloquism and family assistance to sell the illusion of speech, modern animals can do it all on their own. Evolution is a funny thing, isn't it? And so is the word mongoose. Amazing word. Number 4. Beluga Whale is it possible for a beluga whale to mimic the human way of speaking? Well, you're watching this video, so chances are you don't need me to answer that, but I will answer it anyway because you're not the boss of me. The answer is probably. Scientists have long known that the beluga whales are capable of speaking, referring to them as the canaries of the sea. But nobody ever really stopped to think whether or not they could form human words. It turns out, they kind of can. All of this began in 1984, when a diver surfaced from the National Marine Mammal Foundation's whale enclosure to ask which of his colleagues told him to get out. As it turned out, it was the whale itself, who made sounds resembling the human word, out. Sounds like me singing in the shower. And, let's be honest, you don't want to, uh, disobey a whale. Since then, scientists have begun in-depth investigations into the beluga whale's communication, concluding that some are capable of imitating human speech. Of course, when you listen to most videos of beluga whales speaking English, they sound more like gamers on Call of Duty with terrible lag. It's just a lot of noise. Although, to be fair, the gamers sound like that even without the lag. Number 3. Amazon Parrots no, Amazon has not yet moved into the business of manufacturing animals, yet. Amazon parrots are just extremely playful and talkative birds, capable of picking up words with impressive speed. You can teach them to talk, to sing, to make convincing prank calls. You know, all the things you could want a bird for. Take a look at Echo, an Amazon parrot who took the stage of America's Got Talent by force. Where do bluebirds fly? Uh, this parrot was able to talk in English and Spanish. How many humans can do that? I mean, a lot, but this is a bird. Give me a break. And of course, this bird is actually a darn good singer, performing an impressive rendition of Somewhere Over the Rainbow that would make even Judy Garland say, wow, that is a bird. But if you're not impressed by talking or singing, maybe you'll be impressed by the impressions and sound effects this bird can. Look, if you're not impressed now, it's too late for you. While it is kind of amusing that Echo is an Amazon, there is no product placement as far as I could tell. Just one great bird singing a great song. What more could you want on America's Got Talent? Number 2. Orangutans as our closest living relative, it stands to reason that primates would have an advantage when it comes to language and communication. But a 2012 study finally confirmed this theory, thanks to an orangutan named Rocky, who learned a brand new skill, talking. The video shows Rocky interacting with a local research team and demonstrating an impressive ability to control his voice while repeating the words he is told. The video was part of a study investigating whether our ability to speak began with our primate ancestors, and I don't think I have to tell you what the outcome was. While there's no outright confirmation, Rocky's success and the success of other speaking orangutan, Tilda, suggests that our communication abilities have their origins in the ancestors of our species. You know what that means. Planet of the Apes is just a matter of time now. And who knows if they're all going to be British this time. Orangutans are beautiful, intelligent animals. And clearly, they're also capable of learning new skills that seem almost impossible for other species. <laughs> One thing is for certain, there is no stopping them. The orangutans will be here soon, and I, for one, welcome our new primate overlords. Number 1. Goats What accent does a goat have? Is it a British accent, Boston, Irish? This may seem like a joke, but I'm actually serious. As it turns out, science has proven that goats don't have their own language. They have accents. Seriously! In a study of calls made by young goats, scientists concluded that goats can pick up accents from one another. 
forming their own kind of shorthand. These accents adapt to the environment that they're in, meaning that groups of goats together speak in a dialect that would be incomprehensible to a group in another location. Take a look at this video, and you'll see an incredibly talkative goat that has its own way of communicating, which I would describe as angry drunk. <laughs> You'll never hear another goat like this one, that's for sure. If you ever wished to learn to speak goat, you'll just have to keep dreaming. At best, you could learn the local accent, whether that's angry drunk or just the usual mundane bleeding, but even then, you'll probably be reliant on the goat's body language, which is famously very misleading. Which of these animals would you most like to talk to? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!